Imagine yourself trekking through a dense swamp. The ground beneath your feet is soft and uneven, making each step a challenge. The thick vegetation surrounds you, creating a labyrinth of green that seems to close in from all sides. The air is thick with humidity making it hard to breathe. The mist hangs in the air giving the swamp an eerie, almost otherworldly feel. You hear the buzz of insects and the croak of frogs, a constant symphony of life that fills the air. The sounds are both a comfort and a reminder of the unseen creatures that share this space with you, but danger lurks beneath the murky water's surface. The water is dark and opaque, hiding what lies beneath. You can't see the bottom and every ripple sends a shiver down your spine. A crocodile, a master of disguise, lies in wait, its eyes barely break the surface watching, waiting. This ancient predator has perfected the art of ambush over millions of years, its camouflage is perfect, blending seamlessly with the logs and debris. You could easily mistake it for a piece of driftwood, a trick that has served it well in its hunt for prey. You wouldn't even know it's there. Until it's too late. The sudden movement in the water is the only warning you get before it strikes. These prehistoric predators are found in tropical regions around the world. From the swamps of Florida to the rivers of Africa, crocodiles have adapted to a variety of environments. They are apex predators meaning they sit at the top of the food chain. No other animal hunts them, and they have no natural enemies. And they are opportunistic hunters, always ready to ambush their prey. They can wait for hours, even days, for the perfect moment to strike. These creatures are incredibly powerful, with the strongest bite force of any animal on Earth. Their jaws are designed to crush and hold, making escape nearly impossible. Their jaws can snap shut with over 3,700 pounds per square inch of pressure. This immense force is enough to break bones and tear flesh with ease. That's enough to crush bone instantly. The sheer power of their bite is a testament to their evolutionary success. But it's not just their bite that's dangerous. Crocodiles are also incredibly fast, especially in the water. Their muscular tails propel them forward with surprising speed. They can launch themselves at their prey with lightning speed. In the blink of an eye, they can cover the distance between them and their target. This combination of power and speed makes them formidable hunters. Their ability to strike quickly and with such force leaves little chance for their prey to escape. So, what should you do if you find yourself face to face with a crocodile? The first thing to remember is to stay calm. Panic will only make the situation worse. The most important thing is to stay calm. Take a deep breath and try to assess the situation. Look for an escape route, but move slowly and deliberately panic will only make the situation worse. Quick, erratic movements can trigger the crocodile's predatory instincts making it more likely to attack. Remember these animals are opportunistic hunters, they look for easy targets, so making yourself appear less vulnerable can be a deterrent. If you don't look like easy prey, you're less likely to be attacked. Stand tall, make yourself look bigger, and back away slowly. This can give you the precious seconds you need to get to safety. Crocodiles are incredibly well equipped to hunt. These ancient reptiles have evolved over millions of years to become some of the most efficient predators on the planet. They have exceptional eyesight, even in low-light conditions. Their eyes are adapted to see well in the dark, allowing them to hunt effectively at night when many other animals are at a disadvantage. This allows them to spot prey from a distance, both above and below the water. Their eyes are positioned on the top of their heads, giving them a wide field of vision while keeping most of their body hidden underwater. And their hearing is equally impressive. Crocodiles have highly developed ears that can pick up a wide range of sounds, including the faintest noises made by potential prey. They can detect the slightest ripple in the water, which could indicate a potential meal. This sensitivity to vibrations helps them locate prey even in murky waters where visibility is low. But perhaps their most remarkable sense is their sense of smell. Crocodiles have an extraordinary olfactory system that allows them to detect scents from great distances. They have incredibly sensitive nostrils that can pick up the scent of prey from far away. This ability is crucial for hunting, as it enables them to track down animals that are hidden or far from sight. In fact, they can even smell prey that is underwater. This is a unique adaptation that sets them apart from many other predators. This is because they have special sensory organs located inside their nostrils that can detect even the faintest traces of odor molecules in the water. These organs are highly specialized and incredibly sensitive. This combination of keen senses makes the crocodile a formidable predator. Their ability to see, hear, and smell so acutely gives them a significant advantage over their prey. 
They are experts at detecting and ambushing their prey often before their victims even realize they're in danger. With their stealth and sensory prowess, crocodiles have perfected the art of the ambush, making them one of nature's most efficient hunters. It's a common misconception that crocodiles are mindless killing machines. In reality, they usually attack humans out of defense or mistaken identity. They are fiercely protective of their territory, especially during mating season. If you get too close to a crocodile's nest or young, you're likely to trigger an aggressive response. Crocodiles also have a tendency to mistake humans for their usual prey, such as fish or turtles. This is especially true in murky water where visibility is limited. If a crocodile sees a splashing limb or a head bobbing in the water it might mistake it for a tasty treat. Remember the best way to avoid a crocodile attack is to give them a wide berth and respect their space. Stay alert in areas where crocodiles are known to live and never approach a crocodile nest. There's a popular myth that if a crocodile chases you, you should run in a zigzag pattern. Supposedly this will confuse the crocodile and give you a chance to escape. But let's be real for a second. Do you think a creature that's been around since the dinosaurs is going to be outsmarted by a little zigzagging? The truth is, zigzagging will only slow you down and make you an easier target. Crocodiles are incredibly fast in short bursts, especially on land. Your best bet is to run in a straight line as fast as you can, get out of the water and away from the edge as quickly as possible. Remember, survival depends on speed and decisive action. Don't waste precious seconds on zigzagging. It's a myth that could cost you your life. Section 5. Fight Back Survival Tactics If a crocodile does attack, don't give up. You have a fighting chance if you act quickly and strategically. Your goal is to inflict enough pain and discomfort to make the crocodile release its grip. First and foremost, go for the eyes. The eyes are the most vulnerable part of a crocodile's body. Gouge, claw, and poke at the eyes with everything you've got. This will cause immense pain and disorientation, potentially giving you a chance to break free. If you can, try to attack the throat. The throat is another sensitive area, and a well-placed blow could cause the crocodile to gag or release its grip. Use any weapon you can find, a rock, a stick, even your bare hands, remember your life depends on it. Ends. Section 6. The Palatal Valve, Your Secret Weapon Crocodiles have a secret weapon of their own, the palatal valve. This flap of tissue located at the back of their throat prevents water from entering their lungs while they're submerged. But this valve can also be their Achilles heel if you know how to exploit it. If you find yourself in the jaws of a crocodile, try to jam your fingers or thumb into the back of its throat. Push upwards towards the roof of its mouth. This will force the palatal valve closed making it difficult for the crocodile to breathe. The discomfort and panic this causes might be enough to make the crocodile release you. While this tactic is risky, it could be your only hope in a life or death situation. Section 7. Prevention is key. The best way to survive a crocodile attack is to avoid one altogether. Prevention is always better than cure, and this is especially true when it comes to dealing with these formidable reptiles. Remember, these are wild animals, and their behavior can be unpredictable. They are ancient creatures with instincts honed over millions of years, making them both fascinating and dangerous. By following a few simple safety tips, you can minimize the risk of a dangerous encounter. These tips are not just for your safety but also for the well-being of the crocodiles, as human interactions can often lead to negative outcomes for them. First, always be aware of your surroundings. This means keeping an eye out for any signs of crocodile presence and being mindful of where you step, especially in areas known to be inhabited by these reptiles. Crocodiles are masters of camouflage, so it's important to be vigilant, especially near water. Their ability to blend into their environment makes them nearly invisible even when they are just a few feet away. Look for signs of crocodile activity such as tracks, slide marks, or disturbed vegetation. These indicators can give you a heads up that a crocodile might be nearby. If you see any of these signs, it's best to steer clear. Avoiding these areas can significantly reduce the risk of an encounter. Never swim in areas where crocodiles are known to live. Even if the water looks calm and inviting, it can be deceiving. Stick to designated swimming areas and always heed warning signs. These areas are monitored and deemed safe, reducing the likelihood of a crocodile encounter. Crocodiles are most active at dawn and dusk, so be extra cautious during these times. Their hunting instincts are heightened, making them more likely to be on the move, and never ever feed crocodiles. Feeding them disrupts their natural behavior and can make them associate humans with food. Feeding them makes them lose their natural fear of humans and increases the likelihood of attacks. 
This not only endangers people but also the crocodiles as they may be removed or killed if they become a threat. Educate yourself and others about crocodile safety. Knowledge is a powerful tool in preventing accidents and ensuring that both humans and crocodiles can coexist peacefully. By taking these precautions you can enjoy the beauty of nature without putting yourself or the wildlife at risk. Prevention truly is the key to safety. Section 8. What to do if attacked. Despite your best efforts, there's always a chance you could encounter a crocodile. If you are attacked, your chances of survival depend on your ability to react quickly and decisively. First, fight back with everything you've got. Target the eyes, throat, and snout. These are the most sensitive areas. Use whatever you can as a weapon. Rocks, sticks, your fists, anything that can inflict pain and make the crocodile release its grip. If someone is with you, have them help. They can attack the crocodile from behind or try to distract it while you attempt to free yourself. Once you're free, get away from the water as quickly as possible and seek medical attention immediately. Even a minor crocodile bite can become infected very quickly. Section 9. Respect and Survive Surviving a crocodile attack is a harrowing experience. It's a testament to human resilience and the will to survive. But the best way to survive an encounter is to avoid one altogether. Respect these ancient creatures, understand their behavior, and give them the space they need. Remember, we are visitors in their world. By practicing caution and common sense, we can coexist peacefully and ensure that both humans and crocodiles continue to thrive in their natural habitats. Stay safe out there and remember, knowledge is your best defense.